bless your holy name. We worship you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Mighty God, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Ancient of Days. Oh, we may shave you alone. You are not taking dog to me. You are not taking damage to me. Lord God Almighty, Lord, strong and mighty, Lord, mighty in battle. Lord, we ask that you go before us this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, this place is a solution center. Everything he that told that has troubled our minds, everything that has resisted, that has resisted the, the answers, our fasting prayer. Lord, we ask, oh God, today that you solution, Jesus Christ. Solution, Jesus Christ. Solution, Jesus Christ. End time to our lives and give us solutions. Oh God, today, 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your name and your name alone be glorified, oh God. We bless you, O oh God. We exalt you. We magnify you. There is none like unto you. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises. You are always doing wonders. Along with Yanu, I told Father to be okay. Along with Yanu, along with Yanu, don't you see me? Father, we exalt you. We say be magnified, O oh God. Be thou exalted, be thou exalted, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Sarah, do you remember that song? I'm so sorry. If I hit me down, I me. You remember the song? Please sing it. We 
thank you for being with us at home. Thank you for joining us. We don't take it for granted, though. We thank you for daily loading us with benefits. We thank you, oh God, because it's by God, your message that we're not consumed. Lord, we thank you for drawing us to power and prayer. We thank you for the goodness of God. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, oh God, for sleeping and waking up. We thank you, oh God, for right, sound mind. We thank you for body, street, soul, and mind. For our health, we thank you. For our jobs, we thank you. For our
let's ask for the purifying fire of God. That God will send his fire and purify us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said if any man will purge himself. <laughs> Lord, we purge, we'll come for purging you know, this morning. That Lord, you will purify us so that we can be what? Vessels of honor unto our God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we ask.
the name of Jesus Christ. Over Timu Timu, all the enchantments, all the divination. Oh God, all the multi prognosticators. Oh Lord, all the stargazers. Oh Lord, break their defense. Break their backbone. Go, 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 go,
Isaiah chapter 60. I'm going to read from verse 1 to the last verse, which is verse 22. Isaiah chapter 60, from verse 1 to the end, which is verse 22. I read, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, Amen. and his glory Amen. shall be seen upon thee. Amen. 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 And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, Amen. and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Amen. Amen. Lift up thy eyes round about, and see, all they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy sons shall come from far, Amen. and thy daughters shall be lost at thy side. Amen. Amen. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto Amen. thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto Amen. thee. Amen. Verse 6. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. Amen. The drum the drum of Midian and Ephraim. All they from Sheba shall come. They shall, they shall bring gold Amen. and incense. Okay. And they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. Amen. 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 Verse 7. All the flocks of Kedah shall be gathered together unto thee. Amen. Amen. The rams of Nebaoth shall minister unto thee. Amen. Amen. They shall come up with acceptance on my altar. Amen. And I will glorify the house of my glory. Amen. 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 Verse 8. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves? To their windows, surely the isles shall wait for me, amen. amen. And the ships of Tarshish, of Tarshish, first to bring thy sons from far, amen. their silver and their gold, with them unto the name of the Lord thy God amen. and to the Holy One of Israel, because He had glorified thee, amen. amen. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, amen. 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 And their kings shall minister unto thee. Amen. Amen. For in my wrath I will smoke thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Amen. Amen. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. They shall not be shut day nor night. Amen. 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 That, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, Amen. and that their kings may be brought. Amen. Amen. Verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve Ooh. thee shall perish. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. Amen. 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 The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. Amen. The fir tree, the pine tree, mm. and the box together. Amen. Amen. To beautify the place of my sanctuary. Amen. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Amen. Amen. Verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come Amen. bending unto thee. Amen. 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 And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. Amen. Amen. And they shall call thee. The city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Amen. 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 Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, Amen. I will make thee an eternal excellency. Amen. Amen. A joy of many generations. Amen. Amen. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles. Amen. Amen. And shall suck. The, the breast of kings. Amen. Amen. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, 
the mighty one of Jacob. Amen. 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 For brass, I will bring gold. Amen. 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 And for iron, I will bring silver. Amen. Amen. And for wood, brass. And for wood, brass. And for stones, iron. Amen. I will also make thy officers peace and thy exactors righteousness. Amen. Amen. Verse 18. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Amen. Amen. Wasting nor destruction within thy borders, Amen. but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. Amen. Amen. Verse 19. The sun shall no more the sun shall be no more thy light by day. Amen. Neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. Amen. But the Lord Amen. shall be unto thee an everlasting light. Amen. And thy God thy glory. Amen. Amen. Thy sun shall no more be down. Amen. Thy sun shall no more go down. Amen. Amen. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. Amen. Amen. For the Lord shall be thy everlasting light. Amen. Amen. And the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 21. Thy people also shall be all righteous. Amen. Amen. They shall inherit the land forever. Amen. Amen. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. Amen. Amen. Verse 22, the last verse. Amen. A little one shall become a thousand. Amen. Amen. And a small one, a strong nation. Amen. Amen. I, I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless his word and make his and every pronouncement in this Bible reading a reality in our lives. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Every enemy of God against His word in our lives, let them be roasted. Amen. The Bible says our God is a consuming fire. Let them be roasted Amen. by the consuming fire of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But not only that, in any way, we we need we need things to move. We're, we're tired of just you know. It's no more business as usual. Status quo. Let the enemy perish Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All those that will resist, resist the word of God. The Bible says a great and effective fervent door has been opened. But adversaries, I mean, every adversary in our, to the fulfillment of our joy. To the, he said we should ask that our joy be full, right? So any, any attempt by anyone, any personality, principality or power, Against the fullness of our joy, let the consuming fire 
of God roast them to ashes Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So it is. Amen. We soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus. <laughs> we soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus. Lord, be a wall of fire around about us. Lord, turn us to fire Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Let the words that we speak be fire. Amen. Let the enemy be the stubble. Amen. Let them be roasted to ashes Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Everyone that says this but Nifu will not be our portion. Let them be roasted in the fire, Amen. the consuming fire of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, it's a wonderful time in God's presence again. We thank God for sparing our lives and bringing us again to His to His presence and under His tutelage. <laughs> under His tutelage. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We have come to learn, O oh God, from you. Lord, teach us this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, can we turn our Bibles to John chapter 10? John chapter 10. Hallelujah. Start from verse one. I know we're going to be jumping, so it's not, you know, it's not just the the whole lump. But we'll jump as the Holy Spirit would have us. Holy Spirit, we need you. Please help us this morning. I thank God for the worship session. We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, when our minister was leading and she was talking and speaking about the holiness, the holiness of God, those that you know, that was that's what the Lord had been laying in my heart. So I was surprised. It's not like we changed, we exchanged notes. Yes. It's not like I, I the whole week I didn't even call her. So it was so strong on me. Yes, I was like, hey, these are not the words that people like to hear these days. They want to hear, let God. Open, let the uh, door open. Let me, let, let me bang. Let me, Abby. People, those are, but not people don't want to hear stuff about holiness. But it is, uh, it is, it is oh, expedient. It is so. When she mentioned it this morning, you know, the Bible says, uh, you know, now <laughs> it's not where you go and worship. No, I go there. I felt like that's that woman at the well. She said uh, the Samaritan woman at the well and told Jesus that uh, uh, Jesus was talking to her about something. She was talking about something and said, ah, "This is the uh, our father's worship upon this mountain." And Jesus said, "Come on, lady. There's coming a time when it's not here. They will go and worship not there. But those that will worship God will worship God in what? In, in spirit and in truth." Verse 1, chapter 10. John chapter 10 from verse 1. Verily I say unto you, he that entered, entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbed up from some other way. The same is a what? A thief and a robber. Are you opening your Bibles? We're reading together. Please open your Bibles. Don't look at me. I need everyone to, to read. We, we're Bible people here. We want the word of God to, because that is what nobody can take from you. There's coming a time, I pray will not be part of them, Amen. when this word will be so huh, precious to be like, and people will not even be able to, so you hide this word in your heart now. David said, your word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against you. Mm -hmm. It's only the word of God that can keep you from sinning, from 
of course, with the power of God, because the word of God itself is power, right? Yes. Since the word that I speak, they are what? Their, their spirit and their life. Don't look at it that just the, it's, the, the letter is not what, the letter killed it, but the spirit behind the word is what gives us life and light. So the word must be in our hearts, close to us, every time. He said, when you go, you, you, even when you sit with your children, you discuss it. That's what the Lord expects us to do. He said, hey, when you wake up like this, my children used to have this, uh, this uh, analogy. They would say, oh, mommy, when we're sleeping, we'll still be, the word of God, we'll still be talking about the word of God. That's how serious it is. So we we'll start from verse 1 again. Very, very, I say unto you, he that enter not by the door into the sheepfold, but climb up from some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Verse 2. But he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Who is the shepherd? Who is our shepherd? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Three. To him the potter opening. Without any question. And the sheep hear his voice. We want to learn how to hear the voice of God. And it's only by his word. Praise the Lord. And he calleth his own sheep by name. Hey. By what? He knows he knows your name. He knows he knows he knows us by he knows some. He knows Matthew. He knows Esther. He knows Jeff by name. Abi, he ought, the sheep hear his voice and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. Who is leading you and I? Are we led by the multitude of counselors? The multitude of oh, what everybody is saying is cool? Or the celebrities? Believe me, there's no celebrity yet like Jesus. He's the all-time greatest of whatever you think. He's all, like general, multi-generational. Abi, multi, even more than multi-generational. As much as they hate him. Verse 4. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. You know, they're, they're, according to uh, scholars, there are like two or three ways in which you can lead. You lead front or you lead from the back really you lead from the back by the time before you get to the front person the enemy has already done their evil but jesus is the one that goes before so as to clear every enemy every foe to make sure that we're safe ah i will say before as as the the in, in some uh, 97 verse 3, he said, fire goes before the Lord and it consumes his enemies. So as he's leading, the enemies cannot, you know, and they will not be able to come from the back in Jesus' name. Amen. Because God's got our back. We're actually in Christ as we're walking. Blessed be the name of our Lord. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? As we're walking, we're actually in him. He's, he's covered us. The Bible says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the right? Yes. I will say of oh, the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckle. Mm -hmm. So when we are in the presence of God already, you are covered in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. The stranger will they not follow. Oh, many of us are following all manner of strangers now. We're listening to the voices that are speaking. May the Lord, the, 
May the Lord himself drown those voices in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Those voices that are set to destroy, distract, and lead us away from God. Amen. May they be drowned in the blood of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But will flee. He said, and the stranger they will not follow. But will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. This parable he spake, spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not. Ah, may the eyes of our understanding be enlightened in the name Amen. of Jesus. Every wound that is blocking our ears, our spiritual ears to understand, may they be burned to ashes Amen. in the name of Jesus. May the, may the insight of God, the illumination of the power of God dominate us this morning Amen. that we might understand in the name of Jesus. The wisdom of God understanding and knowledge may be a portion in Jesus name Amen. they knew not what he was they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them that's why remember we talked about those people going to the city of the males mm -hmm. not until Jesus broke bread hey please mm -hmm. remind me when we finish about this this is the third time I keep forgetting I was thought we were going to have in-house that day, so we would have done it, but in the evening, we have to, in the name of God, help us. And, and Jesus, then Jesus said unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Ah, do you understand? Mm. I am the what? The door of the sheep. Do you know why? Because we're in him. It's like we're, we're in this house, in this, in this place now. Imagine that Jesus is this building. <laughs> and the door for us to go is still the door that will come out through. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, Hallelujah. Verse 8. All that ever came before me were thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. That means you'll be satisfied. He will take care of us. I know this thing seems too fantastic. Ah, uh, we'll have to walk. Yes, we'll have to walk, but not the way we do it, as if that is our only source, you know, only possible way of making it. Hmm. God help us and help us. Uh, may, we, may he give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 10, which is popular, everything everyone always says, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come. Jesus Christ said he is come. That they might that we might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. That is the will of Jesus for each and every one of us. I am the good shepherd. Verse 11. And the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own whose own the sheep are not, see the wolf coming, and leave the sheep, and fear. They, they run away. And the wolf catches them, and you know, mess them up, and all that. And then they will still come back again, and collect what is not collectible. Verse 14. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and I am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep, and the other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also, can you imagine? It actually came to my mind, but I did not went through. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Those are us here. How I knew, right? <laughs> we are the other sheep, in the other sheep fold. And the other sheep I have, which are not in, of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, 
and they shall be one fold and one uh, and one shepherd. Therefore, does not my father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I. Jesus Christ is saying, I, he lays it down of himself, of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. And there was division, therefore, again, among the Jews for this saying. Initially, if you remember when he was talking about them eating the flesh of Jesus, of his flesh, there was division. People said, ah, ah this is a hard thing. What are you saying? You must be vampires or whatever. And the people that did not like it, they just went. And then he would turn to the other disciples, ah, are you still here? He said, where else will we go? You have the word of life. So it cost a lot of, you know, Jesus was someone that was very, con should I say, well, if you can use in this contemporary uh, lifestyle, it was very, uh, uh, what's the word, what's the word, um, he had, he had many words that were not the norm. He came, it was like he was coming with a new religion. All what they were used to was the Moses kind of way. And then Jesus came and was saying all this, you know, these fantastic things. So they wanted to kill him. And what are you saying? You are blaspheming, you are doing things and all that. But not, that, not knowing that he was the real deal. Jesus said that all those that came before him, they were robbers. They were thieves. I don't want to mention names, though. God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, how does this correlate with living, you know, as our sister was saying, holiness? Because at the end of the day, that was why Jesus came. Mm. That was why Jesus came for you and I. To call us out of darkness into his marvelous light. This is the gospel of God. To bring us from our old ways and our old manners and bring us back into God. Where God wants us to be before the Father. To reconcile us back to God. Our God who happens to be a very holy God. Pure. The Bible says it dwells in immaculate light. And we want to serve God in our own way. Something is not right. And it can't work like that. As much as hey, I, I want to do, I can do as I want. Not with God, though. Mm. Not with God, brethren. He said that we follow his way. Or there's no other, there's no way. He's not going to play second field. He's not going to. He's not. Our ways, we have to align our ways to what he wants. Abi, we have to. If the sheep refuse to abide in him, how can we abide in God if we're filthy? If we're not wanting to be he says his eyes are too holy to behold iniquity yet oh, some of us we drink this thing as, as if we're drinking water and we want the same things that God can do he said he has come to put a, 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 a demarcation between the holy and the unholy we cannot. We have to choose. He said, choose ye this day. Whom thou will serve. Oh. If it is God that we are serving, I will need to examine our ways. If we want to be in the sheepfold, really, really. You know, he said he has another sheep somewhere. Okay, the Jews are one. Our Gentiles. If we want to serve him the way, I mean, if we want to be in him, inside the sheepfold, then there are things that we need to share. Even the sheep, do they not take them for um, what do you call that thing to sh to remove their sh their sh um, 
the uh, sharers. Thank you, ma'am. They go to the sharers. They share. They want some of this sheep. Have you seen that their their wool is so heavy? Sometimes it's weighing on them. They have to take them to the to remove. Oh no, no, no. We use them as uh, sweaters and all that. But they need to get that thing out. Our ways, our excesses, we need to cut them out. Your hair is too long. Cut it out. The excesses of things we're doing, the things that God has required, is not an evil or wicked God. His commandments are not grievous. Isn't that what the Bible says? Why do we make it look as if it's so barbara? That you know, ah, they're asking us to do this. Is what is so much in what God is asking? Love God, love your neighbor. I know there's some that are even unlovable. If you if you cannot love, the, I mean, you don't, you know, you said love your neighbor as what? Yes. Yourself. I thank God for Jesus. He is really a fantastic uh, God. You know, over ten million like, you know, yeah. Abi, you love your neighbor as yourself. What you will not do to others, if they want to do it to you, you what you you excuse yourself from that as, as, as scenario, so that they do not, you know, they use it against us a lot. Hey, what would Jesus do? Ha! Should we begin to open scriptures on what Jesus would do in different situations? Don't come and tell us about that. Yeah, we should be. Are they saying that Jesus is a mumu? Was Jesus a mumu? Even here, he said that what? If that verse, no man take it from me, but I lay it down of myself. Is that a mumu? Yeah. Yeah, be, be like sheep. Yeah, Jesus here said we should be as wise as a serpent, but as what? Harmless as a dove. Does that mean? Did he put Mumu inside? No. The excesses of Christianity. Ha! We need to. We, you know, we need. Only when it comes to a point. Uh, you will sit with yourself and think about yourself. You have to examine. Even Jesus Christ said, let every man examine his own ways. You be copying somebody, using somebody, and <laughs> you don't know the kind of covenant that is between God and that person. No. And she be that my papa is doing it. What is your? Is that what the scripture says we should do? We're not here, you know. The Lord was talking, but he's, he has called us to preach the gospel, pure and on 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 defile. There's nothing else. And somebody is doing something somewhere. Somebody is doing somewhere. somewhere. It's none of our business. So. When he was teaching me that, he said, okay, what happened when the same people came to Jesus and said, to test Jesus? He said, eh, they said, oh, eh, about taxes. Is it lawful for giving God to pay taxes, blah, blah, blah. He said, give me a coin. Abi." Whose head is on the coin? They said what? Caesar. Caesar. He said, okay, so give to Caesar. What is it? I mean, the coin is Caesar's own anyway. It's not God's own. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar. And give unto God what is God. What is God's? What is God then? Ourself. We. We're the temple of the most high God. Abi? We are the temple of God. We are his own. We are not of ourselves. We are not. We do not belong to ourselves. We belong to God. So if Jesus is saying, give unto Caesar, what is Caesar? Give yourself to God. Holy. Completely. But many, not for the gate, not, not for all this I don't know what it is. Give yourself to God. He gave himself first. He gave himself first. He died on that cruel, wicked cross for you and I. Give yourself to him. In all things. In your thoughts, in 
in your mind, in your walk, everything you do, let it, let Jesus come first. Think of what he would, what, you know, put your, imagine that, it's not, it's not even imagine, no, because I'm just trying to paint a picture, but that's the reality, because he lives in us. The life, the breath that we have, belongs to who? Belongs to God. It is God's own. So we're carrying God about. And yet we're doing the things, our own things, our own way. He's seen it all. He's seen everything. And, of, well, fortunately or unfortunately, the world is coming to an end soon. This is not what people want to hear. But we have to talk about it. Because everybody, you know that people go, you know, bad day. People have forgotten. They are, they are so, they're so concerned and preoccupied with the world and the systems. We've forgotten that this is not our home. We are just sojourners here. Oh. We are going back. Either by flight or by other way. Ha. Huh. Brethren, it is, it is, it is, it is time. Hmm. Things are, the, the events that are going to begin to unfold in quick succession. But, but what, we need to be up on our game with God. Oh. We need to. Oh, Hey, may God spare us in the name of Jesus Christ. May you and I be there's no way that we can even. Um, there was this song that I was listening to. I'm so glad you found me. We're not worthy. None of us is God that qualifies us, right? Nobody. When I when he was explaining that song, I said. Which song do we not want to be singing? There was one that that somebody was singing. I was reading that coming. You know that uh, come Jesus come. Blah 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 blah. You know the song is very nice. Everyone wants to sing it. I mean it's, it's nice. All of a sudden <laughs> she said she heard God say no I will not come because you are not ready yet. If the Lord should come now, ministers, if the Lord God Almighty should come now, appear in the sky, I will. You know they ask that question a lot, but let us. This is a this is a serious, a solemn assembly this morning actually. If the Lord should come like Bagam now, the devil, you and I are we are we are we ready? Am I ready? See, you know, we people be singing that song and crying. Come, Jesus, come. We've been waiting so long. If you should come now, are you ready? I love that song so much. But when I, I was like, Jesus, what song are we there going to be singing? We sing with all the understanding. Sing with the Spirit. Sing what God wants to sing. We don't even want to begin to talk about the kinds and manner of things that are done in the presence of God. A holy God, oh! A holy and righteous, fearful God. We've turned our, 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 what to something else. How is God going to move? To my we'll be saying that things are not happening. The, the people of the world are gaining. Why would they not? How? In my office, they were arguing, they were talking and discussing. They said hey, they don't want uh, the, the blue people to come in, that is the red people they want to enter. I said, hey. I said, what is your reason? Hey, because they, are, they, they sanction this, uh, this rainbow, rainbow something. I said, so is the Democrat, oh, sorry, the blue people that went into people's homes and into people's hearts 
I was convincing people. Or is it the lack and the decadence and the failure of the church to preach the word? Look at the kinds of things that are coming out of pulpits. People fighting and when Christians should be praying, they are arguing among themselves. Even inside the church, you see them, the things that do me I the manner of atrocities. What led us to us starting also? Was it not because of the 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 politics? Yeah, somebody said, oh, everything is about politics. Even even the disciples were because of the, the woman that came and said his her own two sons should be that. I said, you can imagine the reasoning of people. I said, really? Well, there's politics in church, of course. It has to be. I'm like, seriously? From the last time I checked, God is not a politician. He's not a Democrat. He's not a Republican. He's not a, he has nothing to do. He's a what? He's an authoritarian. He's the king of kings. The king of glory. He says and he comes to pass. He does not deal with that. Yes, you can say uh, it's not good to be king. All those people in China, all those people in uh, Putin. In fact, when the Lord even showed me Putin, I said, okay. We have reached some, somewhere else. And those ones are getting ready, seriously, to come down and do. Brethren, we have to be prepared. <laughs> the kind of things I want to start, we need to be ready. I'm not saying you should go and sell off all your things or, or, or begin to, you know, come gather together and not go to work. No. But be, be in your spirit, be ready. The soldier of Christ, if he comes like this, we're able to, to catch that flight. They're complaining about the democracy. The failure of the church to speak the word, to live a life that is, that is let, me, let me qualify that God can dwell in. Ha! Ha! He's not now. He's no more. You remember that scripture when in, uh, uh, Isaiah said he saw the spirit of God come out. He left the holy of holies. He came out to the court. Then he went to the court. And then he did what? He flew away. He said Ezekiel. Sorry. Ezekiel. In Ezekiel. Flew away this way. The Lord, may the Lord not leave our, our, our sanctuaries. But the kind of things people are doing there. That is why it seems as if we have lost the power. He said what? Jesus Christ said what? Here. He said. Hmm, Lord, help me. Help me. Help me. He said the hiring flee because he is. Verse 13. Because he is an hiring and cared not for the sheep. Right? Uh, no, that's not where I'm going. It's where that part where it says. Uh. Holy Spirit, help me. That their voice they will not hear. Uh, Let me find you too. Okay, verse 12. But he that is an hiring and not a shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, see the wolf coming and leave the sheep and flee. And the wolf, you know, that's not where. It, uh. I have which. Where is it that people help me or help me? Yeah. Okay, verse 5. And, this, and a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the stranger. I said earlier, earlier whose voice are we listening to? I know this side, this side is not what everybody wants to hear this morning. When the Lord comes, will he find you and will we be ready? These people are, they are unable to, to communicate with the people. They are unable to what? Communicate with the people. They are able, because Jesus, 
Because they have not presented Jesus before the people. They are pre we are presenting ourselves. We are presenting ourselves. We are just vessels. Give people Jesus. All these doctrines, all these ways that are leading people and we're putting burdens upon people. He said, my yoke is easier, B. And my burden is light. See, there's politics in church. I was like, oh my goodness. God wants us to come to him with the whole of our heart. Be transformed by the renewal of our minds through the word of God. By the washing of the word. The word is what God wants us to give to us. Let us put our nose in our in the word of God. Let us put now me telling me that it is it is it is the Democrats or the blue people that sanctioned and made gays um uh, the, the rainbow people uh institute. If the pastors are preaching the undiluted word of God. Number one, if they are living a life that God dwells in, <laughs> they said someone, one of these ministers went, he, he after some of them will go and do something and they will come and be laying that hand again on people. Edjo. After all the choir master and choir minister, they will come and take and still be lifting holy hands and preaching and singing and doing. And then they will not be laying the hands on people. And so that spirit is transferred. Sawalala, okay. Yes or no? Yeah. The spirit is transferred. That's why the Bible says, lay not hand suddenly on any man. And you say, do not let people put your... Then spread the spirit. And all is going, is going, is going. Like wildfire. And now it is, it is some political... Um, can you come where, where, if every man stands in the place of God, in his home, in his church, and they're speaking the word of God, do you think, do we feel that the world will be where it is now? Every man, every woman, when I talk, people are whole, mothers are praying, husbands are doing their right things and not, will we be where we are? I have my answer now. No. We're not meant, we're not trying to castigate anybody. Oh, I have my own. God help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. But we're talking as a collective. We cabar our sorrow, Otoro. Let us talk for those that don't understand English. Let us, you know, reason together. Let us think. And sit down with this our God and, and, and ruminate over the things of our lives. They're putting the weight of the sin of the world on them on the blue people, on Democrats. No. Okay, Democrats, this is not just in America. Okay, so what's happening in Nigeria? People killing themselves to sell body parts. Because the church is not taking a stand. In holiness and righteousness, in the things that God has called us to, but we're busy bodying about other things. Look at Jesus was teaching. He said, Okay, when they asked him, I gave that scenario, we give unto Caesar what is Caesar, unto God what is God. Then they came and asked again. They were tempting God, they were tempting him. They wanted to catch him. Is it time? Okay, I will round up. They were tempting him in to just to ensnare him. They will not be ensnared by the words of our mouth. The Bible says I was mute when the wicked was before me. May the Lord protect you and I in the name of Jesus. They are laying all kinds of things for us to cut or shoot. They will be the ones to fall into it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus said, ah. They said, eh, one man married a woman. The man died. 
Uh, another one, the brother married, uh, Kiniko married, the third married, the fourth married, up to seven. Uh -uh. So who will, in the resurrection, who will be the woman's husband? She in Ambai, see, that's what we're talking to you. Because would you look up back? Careful, Paris. What? Really? I thank God for the, you know, God, just may we be supplied by the wisdom of God for every occasion. May, the, may, may, the, may we be connected to the Holy Spirit to give the answer at all times. Can you so following what, what God expects us to say? At every time. May we never be disconnected from God. Amen. Jesus had this direct supply. Did you not know <laughs> that we'll be like angels? There's no marrying and no marrying. We're in the of nonsense here, man. Husband, husband, my wife, oh, do my, my, you know me. Then it's for here. Once we cross yonder, we're like angels. Yeah, we know ourselves, but that's it. Perfect answer. May we always have the the Holy Spirit answer for every of our of our um, antagonizers <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. And then look at the account of John the Baptist. When John was started his ministry. When John the Baptist, I think it's John, John chapter, chapter one, was it one? Where he spoke about, uh, about, yeah, about, um, uh. about, Herod and Herodias. Hmm? John 5K. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Brother Matthew, where are you? So that you come and teach us. Matthew and Esther, where are you to come and tell us? Okay. John the Baptist, Matthew chapter 3. Uh. Okay. Huh? I'm trying to say the one that is in 3 is when he has not been cast to prison. He has not been cast into prison then. That's That scripture says, it tells us how John the Baptist was preaching the gospel. And then the word said, but he, he kind of scolded Herod. See how Jesus, I'm trying to compare the, the, the ministry of Jesus and of John the Baptist. He continued baptizing and preaching the word and saying, uh, you know, God was coming and everything. But at a point, the Bible says, but he commented about the case of Herod taking his brother's wife, Herodias. And what did they say? He was captured. They would not be captured. Imagine that's all right. Lord Jesus Christ also shared, he shared, he said, he said, when, when that man came to ask him, oh, Lord, <laughs> see my brother, tell my brother, I'll compare my brother to share the inheritance with me. What did Jesus say? Who made me um, Lord over you? Can you imagine? Who, in short, or on your call me, or a 
the matter that does not concern you and I, me chuanu. Me what? Me chuanu. Let us keep quiet so that we are not ensnared by the words of our mouth. And the enemy will not have, you know, rule over us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you this morning for your word. We are so grateful, oh God, for your goodness, for your mercy, for your kindness. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for this word that you have shared with us today. Father, we ask that you help us. Lord, my God, we pray that you help us. Our God and our Savior, that you help us. Ah, ah. The only thing that is important right now, the most important, is to be able to go with you, to see you in glory. At your return, let us not be found wanting, O oh God. I help each and every one of us, none of us here, and those that are not right now, that are part of this fold, may we not be found wanting in that day. Those that are watching and listening, or that will watch this program, may we not be found wanting, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we ask in your mercy that you have compassion on us. Ah, Lord, we do not want to go to that place where there's gnashing of teeth, where the fire never goes out. Ha! Ah, where there's burning, where there's pain and anguish. That would not be our portion, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything disqualifying us right now. Lord, we ask that the blood of Jesus will cleanse and qualify us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you because we know you have heard. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Emmanuel, please be with us. Help us. See us through. Angels of God. Holy Spirit of God. Uh, we cannot do this without you. We need you. We need you desperately. Amen. So that we walk circumspectly. All the days of our lives. Pleasing you, O oh God. That is what you have called us to. Nothing else. All those ceremonies, don't buy a, we do not want to partake. We want to see you high and lifted up, glorified. Lord, help us. And I let our joy be full. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the living Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word of today. Yes, we're going to pray for his servant that he used to do to minister to us. As we're going to declare into her life every virtue that's going out of her, the Lord himself will reveal. The Lord himself will strengthen her and uphold her. The word he has used her to speak to us today. Shall not stand against her on judgment day. We the hearers also will not stand against us on the judgment day. It's not by power, it's not by might, or by his spirit. He will help us as we desire to do right. He will help us to do right by him. He will help us to live a life that he is proud of. He will help us to live a life that is proud of us in the name of Jesus Christ. He will strengthen us and keep us grace to overcome every temptation that comes our way. He will lavish upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace to overcome the temptations of things happening in the world. That we want to be part of. Please, Lord, help us. Help us. Help us. We cannot help ourselves. The flesh wants to please itself. The flesh wants to do the desires of the flesh. There's an entanglement, there's a war, there's a battle between the flesh and the spirit, which is what God wants us to do. Lord, help us, strengthen us, let us within. Strengthen our inner man, strengthen our spirits. That by your spirit and by your power, win the war against the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the carnal mind will not please you. The works of flesh will not please you. Lord, please help us to walk in the 
the spirit. They can fulfill the laws of the spirit, not in the flesh. They are the laws of the flesh. They are the laws of the spirit. Strengthen us, help us, fill us. Daily, fill us our flesh. Daily, fill us our flesh. Oh Lord, pray. Fill us daily, every second, every minute, every hour. Fill us our flesh, oh God. Fresh living for you. Fresh living, fresh love, fresh grace. The Lord's prayer says, lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Every temptation that will lead us away from him is evil. Yes, the temptation are meant for our promotion. That we need the grace to overcome. But the ones that just meant to bring us down, Lord, help us. Lord, deliver us. Lord, do not walk into them. Do not fall into them. In the name of Jesus Christ. The ones who are falling into, into no only are the no only that mercy speak for us. Let your mercy have been prevail for us. Let your mercy stand for us. Let your mercy prevail over judgments. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your mercy stand to speak. Bear us as every evidence. Bear us as every evidence to speak against us, to condemn us. Let your mercy speak for us. Let your mercy stand boldly. Let your mercy silence every judgment. Let your mercy silence every accuser. Accuse them, repent them, let them silence them. Every finger point, let your mercy silence them, let them cut them off. Let your mercy paralyze them. In the name of Jesus, we are not worthy. By our strength, by our doom, by our righteousness, by our. Because even our righteousness that has filled you like. And the best of our righteousness, of our up, of our up and doing, is that still go right before him. Yes. Imagine a few you cannot move a few, you cannot use touch a few right. Let us, you trample on a few rights to 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 mop the floor. Lord, help us. Amen. Oh God. Close us with the righteousness. Close us with the righteousness. Amen. Oh God. When, when you behold us as your eyes are too pure Amen. to build iniquity, that when you behold us, you are building righteousness of Christ in us. Amen. Close us. With the righteousness of Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Help us not to displease you. Amen. Uh, help us not to displease you. They will not be a castaway. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory, praise, and adoration. Blessed be your holy name. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My hand there, that was not for, <laughs> but um, we need those words we, we need them uh, yeah. to call us to order. Yeah. Sometimes we lose God, sometimes we lose God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah! Praise the Lord, that's <laughs> why I appreciate me too. We had a complete presentation, <laughs> but then and I have. <laughs> I will bring quality care yeah. and God's tender love Amen. as tools, as vessels, not that we're the one doing it. Quality care and God's tender love to the elderly. Yes, it's going to start to order, but our target is the elder, elderly, you no know, community. And as God is helping us, He's taking us around the world. Amen. The world. Hallelujah. And uh, on this altar, the pastors wonder what are they doing? You know? What are they doing? Why are they, you know, why don't you just go and join another church? <laughs> oh well. Uh, maybe she, that question, they should connect it to God Himself. <laughs> but what they will do, they will do. So, uh, we thank God for her, it's helping us thus far. Thank you, Lord. Um, we also should not despise the days of the beginning. But it's taking us to, we don't know, but we know one thing for sure. The eyes have not seen it. Ears are not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart That's of men. Right. The things yes. that he has for his people. And I know you and I, sure. for those watching us online also, we will particular of this and you see those things of his glory come to pass Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So every Sunday morning we meet like this to fellowship, to worship, to share the word. And also uh, we're still doing our outreach in a while. Oh, no, God is big. No, it's not been a while. We've seen, I mean, in between, uh, God is helping us to do some of those and is blessing us also with that. So please um, um, join us 
And uh, God, will help, God will also uh, bless you. Amen. He knows how to do it. Things that you'd have spent money on, when you use it for his work, he gives it to you for free. Amen. Uh, when testimony comes, when the kinds of testimony will talk about those ones. But yeah, there's a thing that you'd have spent money on that he gives to you for free. Free. Osara, as we used to call it. Um, we, on last Sundays, we're looking at, you know, beginning with, either beginning or ending with the in-house worship. We know that God help us also fix that also. Please, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the Comforter Foundation, please reach out to us. Our email is the Comforter Ministries 21 at gmail.com. The Comforter Ministries 21 at gmail.com. We encourage you to like, share the video, subscribe. I watch some videos and I see that it makes no sense. And I say, they say, please like this video. What am I liking in the video? They say, share. What am I sharing in this video? What am I commenting in this video? The one that's most important to share, we don't share. So please share the word of God to the end of the world. Make some comments as the Holy Spirit lays in your heart in the scriptural. You want to make some comments, some constructive ones. Make it. Don't be the one that God is up behind you and you. That is between you and God. And then we we'll trust God that you know He will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Subscribe to those on the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and you can get more videos of messages like this. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you have testimonies, we want to hear them. It encourages us. We have ours that encourage us also. And we know that um, he's doing wonderful things. I want to hear it, not for self gratification of encouragement. God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Shall we rise as we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Shalom.